From fossil hunting in Whitby to zip lining over a quarry in Wales, you'd think that comedian Rosie Jones has basically completed the UK in the first season of Channel 4's Trip Hazard. Well, she's back for more in Series 2. National liability and comedian Rosie Jones is back, splurging Channel 4's cash on as many fun bucket list activities as possible. It looks amazing. Uh, now, Rosie has cerebral palsy, and despite forging an incredible career working on some of the biggest TV shows out there, she still faces abuse and ableism on a daily basis. Earlier, we caught up with her in the studio to talk about her life and her wacky travels. So, it's series two of Rosie James's trip has led, and it is... Bonkers. I'm we, cold. Yeah. We're in. We're in. <laughs> we go to some of the most amazing places in the UK, climbing mountains. It's diving as well, is this right? Cliff diving. <laughs> oh my God, I went cliff diving and I can't. Climb, jump, or swim. Oh my God. So <laughs> I was facing all my fears at once. I think this whole travel show is my audition to be the next James Bond. <laughs> You've got our vote. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, OK, so I was going to ask you what you were scared of most, but your attitude to describing what you went through... So if it was me, I'd be like, I had to fall out, I had to jump out of a plane, I had to uh, just jump off a cliff. But you're like, well, I, I did this and this was brilliant. Yeah. Were you actually scared of any of these... Gosh, of these oh, activities? You know what? I've been so very bold, just makes me... Hit life head on and any activity as you saw. Yeah, why not? I'll do that. You've travelled around the UK, uh, yeah, experienced it as a disabled person, and I've had the privilege of talking to Martin Hibbert, who um, lost his, the use of his legs after the Manchester bomb, and he said that he only feels disabled because of people's attitudes towards him. It's not his injuries. Ha have you experienced that? Because you're making a documentary, aren't you, about our attitudes towards disabled people? Yeah. So, I love being disabled. I'm very, very proud of it. I am not vulnerable because of my disability. I am vulnerable because society makes me feel like that. So what kind of things can people do without also coming across condescending or just trying to take over, if you like? What's, what's a way to be an ally to help people living with disabilities? That's it. I always say, don't speak for us. Stand by our side. Listen. Ask questions, 22% of the population. So, disabled people are out there and we need to be supported. You know what? I I'm slightly annoyed that you're not on Strictly this year because I was convinced, Rosie, you were going to do it. I read... Uh, maybe you started the rumour. I read that you were going to do it <laughs> and I know you want to do it, so are we going to see you there at some stage? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a big Strictly fan, so I was Googling who <laughs> was rumoured for this year and the top person was me! <laughs> and, and I got so excited, um, but no, not... This year. Next year. Next, next year. year. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. We wish you all the best with Trip Hazard and with Strictly next year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. He knows a thing or two about it. I'll put oh. a word in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very so much. Pleasure.